I am drastically different than my opponents. I come from a much different experience. Um, I never worked in city government. I've never been dependent on the government. Everything I have, I've earned. I'm a successful business owner. I started my company in 1998. I've grown to uh, add four employees. We're adding two more later this year. Um, and I recently, because of my experience, my background, my vision for this ward, I've received the endorsement from the Chicago Sun-Times and the Chicago Tribune. Um, Tribune referred to me as one of the most impressive candidates they've met in the entire election. And they also referred to me as the most independent in this race. And that's most important. I am beholden to no one. My campaign, everything is me speaking on behalf of the residents. Um, and that's what I intend to do. Every problem we face is a direct result of those we've elected and their self-serving decisions that were not in our best interests. Um, we need true representation, and it, it is the cause of every problem we face. The pension crisis, underfunding at our schools, the reason that our streets are in disarray, it's because we don't have big enough budgets back to the wards. We need a true voice, an honest, independent voice, someone that cares about this ward and is not new to it, to fight for it down at City Hall, and that's what I intend to do. What you need to do is do your own research because, well, not this mailer, but other mailers lie. They don't tell you the truth, right? Uh, you need to follow the money. Look outside of our neighborhood. There's big, huge signs littering our community, right? Those are not free. Right? Nobody gave these people these signs for free. I mean, these politicians and special interests are trying to buy this election. And when they get into this office, you think they're gonna, you think a person, somebody from our neighborhood, goes to knock on that door of the office office and be like, hey, I need this for my car? You think he's gonna give you priority over the people who gave him a $10,000 donation? Right? Do you wanna see 20 unit condominiums on Melvin or Medill? Because that's gonna raise your property taxes eventually, and what happened in Logan Square, what happened in Pilsen, is gonna happen in our community too. And we have to stop that. You know, do your own research. Google the names of all four candidates, all three candidates here, right? Um, and, and see who's actually existed before last year. Because I existed. I'm the only one who hasn't taken any money from politicians. I'm the only one who hasn't taken any money from special interests, from developers. I'm the only one who can say, I've lived in this neighborhood my entire life. I've lived in the same house, at least for five or more years. I've born and raised a couple blocks away. I know what it's like to walk around Hanson Park community or Black Park or Morsa or Reese Park at night without a clipper, without a suit on, because I live in this neighborhood. Nobody else can say that. I know what it's like to grow up in this neighborhood and to get, you know, to, to have to look behind me because there might be gang bears at Hanson Park, a little playground there. Um, you know, and I know what it's like to live here and work here as an adult. You have choices. Make sure you use them right on this election, and also for the mayoral one, because I mean we all agree that the mayor is not a good one. But I'm, the I'm a product of CPS. I'm a I'm a lifelong resident, or I grew up rather in the northwest side, and I moved back a few years ago, and I decided to run for office because what happens is in the in the city council and in the 36th ward, we have a lack of leadership. In the 36th ward, our alderman uh, decided that he has any right to move his family where he wants to, and he decided to do that and run for office elsewhere. But the problem is that uh, then we lost out because when we would reach out for some services and different concerns of simple things, uh, there was a lack of response from there. And so um, I think that there needs to be some change there. And so a lot of the issues that we spoke about today, again, education, Public safety, economic development, so forth. These are these are interesting, interesting uh, uh, issues that are really not something that you work on one on one. And I'm so glad that you call them pillars because they are pillars of our community. They are each as important. You have to work on them all. And so, in terms of education, again, I'm a um, I'm for an elective school board. I'm for neighborhood schools. Um, in terms of public safety, I believe we need to hire more police officers. We need to have more after-school programs for our students and for our kids and have year-round employment opportunities for those kids as well. Um, and I think we need world-class city services to be brought not only to sort of the Galewood, Shores, Village, Montclair portions of our ward, but even especially to these communities. 
communities, in the Belmont, Craig, and, Mont and, and excuse me, in the Hermosa communities as well. And so we cannot accomplish any of those things if we don't have the, the, the if we're tied with our budgetary crisis that our city is currently in. And so I, I believe that what differentiates myself with these two, these two gentlemen is that I have presented some ideas to try to attack those uh, budgetary concerns, so I have the ability to pay for those things.